Hello world, Liu here, and today we will take a closer look at how decorators work in Python and attempt to draw it out on pen and paper. If you are new here, I'm a software engineer from Singapore and I make tutorials and practice questions relating to Python, so do stay tuned for more. Now back to the video. So here I'm going to start with a very simple function. So define grid. So I'm going to take in a string name and I'm going to return a string. So here I simply return f string hello plus name so here let's call the grid function and let's say we grid tom and so if we run this we are going to get hello tom and similarly if we grid jerry we will simply get hello jerry so next i'm going to write a simple decorator for this function so add add exclamation so here this decorator here we will aim to add one exclamation mark after the return value of our function without having to change the function's code. So here, if you did not already know, this syntax is actually the same as doing this. So grid is equals to add exclamation, open and close bracket, grid. So here, since I haven't written my function, let's do that. So define add exclamation. So here, add exclamation, is going to take in a function and that function is going to be grid so here i'm just going to type function and here i'm going to define another function inside of our add exclamation function so define so here i'm just going to call it wrapper and here wrapper will need to take in the same thing as our grid function so i'm just going to type name here for now and next we call our function inside wrapper so return function and here we put name and here we simply return wrapper so next if we run this we'll get the exact same thing and this is because we haven't added any function modifications so as we want to add one exclamation mark after our return value we can do it here so plus exclamation mark and if i run my function once again notice that my function has been modified so here, if I add an exclamation mark followed by a question mark, and if I run this again, I'm simply going to get that. So here, I'm going to remove this add syntax, and I'm going to uncomment this. And so if I run this once again, notice that this behaves exactly the same way. So here, adding this line is the exact same as having a add exclamation mark here. So here, having this line is the exact same as having this line here. And next, let's take a closer look on pen and paper, how this makes sense. So firstly, grid is equals to add exclamation and it takes in grid. So here, let's take a look at our add exclamation function. So here, when we pass in grid into add exclamation, function is equals to grid. So this becomes grid. So similarly, this becomes grid. And so now we have redefined wrapper, which takes in a name, and it returns grid name plus exclamation mark. And so this entire function itself is returned when we have this. So in a way, grid is equals to this thing. And because of that, we have the extra exclamation mark over here. So next, I'm going to use another separate example. So let's get rid of all of this. So here, I'm going to define test. I'm going to print hello. I'm going to sleep for one second. And I'm going to print world. So here, I've created this simple function, and next, I want to write a decorator that can actually time this function. So here, I'm going to write time this. So let's define time this, define time this. So similarly, time this will take in a function, and inside, we define a wrapper function. So this wrapper function will take in the same thing as our test function over here, which is nothing. And function simply happens. And next, we want to time how long this function takes. So start time is equals to time. 
and n time is equals to time and time taken is equals to n time minus start time and at the end we simply print time taken is time taken seconds and finally inside our time list decorator we return wrapper and next we are going to test and if we run this hello world and time taken is this amount of time so once again this add syntax is the exact same as doing this so test is equals to time this and we call test and so once again let's try to explore how this works on pen and paper so once again let's write our time this decorator So here, once again, test is equals to time this open bracket test and then close bracket. So test as a function is passed into function. So here, function is equals to test. So similarly, function here becomes test and wrapper becomes this. So once again, wrapper becomes this thing and we assign test to wrapper because wrapper is what this returns. And because of that, we have the start time, we have the end time, we have the time taken and we are able to measure how long this function takes. So once again, thanks for watching and hopefully this was clear and easy to understand. See you in the next one.